Hello everybody, it's Miriala here once again, and welcome back to another loot haul. Woohoo! Yes, we've got an Amiami box in front of us. There are two figures in here. Which is strange because I had nothing ordered for this month. But you know me, I couldn't resist. I had to get some pretty plastic. So I wound up uh, ordering these back uh, a couple days ago on the 24th of December. It is now the 29th, so it was nice and quick. One of them was a uh, pre-owned, one of them was a new figure, but I waited until she came out before I ordered her. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get this box open. Yeah, we're being speedy about this today. It is uh, getting dark out already, so I do have lights on, but, you know, people can't wait until the weekend. They have to see the pretty plastic. So I apologize if things are yellow or washed out or whatever from lights there is the ami ami thank you card you got amiko and liliko and made outfits so yeah like i said i apologize if things are washed out or yellow that's how artificial lights work so we'll get the paper out and there we go we see two figures woohoo so let's uh go ahead and put this off to the side and we'll pull the first one out. <clears throat> so this one is the one that is new. But I wanted to wait until she came out and see pictures of her. So thank you, Cone Anime, for posting a video on this. Once I saw that, I decided, yes, I was going to get Toka. So this is Yadogami Toka, the inverted half-naked version of her, according to MSC. Uh, she is from Data Live. This is her, like, evil inverted form, which we don't really see much of in the anime so far. Uh, she is a 1-6 scale figure manufactured by Pulkra. Uh, we know my opinions on Pulkra in the past, but I do have a few of their figures, and they have improved recently. Uh, so Toka was released on October 11th of 2019. Uh, like I said, I ordered her on the 24th, paid on the 25th, she shipped out on the 26th, and got here on the 29th. Uh, for Toka, brand new at Amiami, I paid 13380 yen, or $128.16. So the front of the box is a picture of her. The side of the box has a window that you can see in, and you can see her body. And she is quite a large figure. Uh, the back just has some information, has her name and everything. And the other side, so you can, again, see in, and you can see her face and stuff. Uh, as I said, she is a large figure. I don't know where I am going to put her for sure, but yeah. Uh, the reason I wanted to wait is in the promotional pictures, and you might be able to kind of see it on here, but probably not. The face really, it looked like it was made out of jelly or a real cheap plastic to me. So I was really, really worried about that. But it looks like it's just the way it is. Uh, it, it's normal plastic. It's fine. Just a little bit of shadows. The other reason is she is kind of a very lewd figure. But <laughs> the lewdness is what actually made me want to buy her. So yeah, that's Toka. And we'll pull out the pre-owned figure. I had been thinking about getting this one for a long time. And I finally did. We have Kiyohime from Fate Grand Order. Uh, yeah. This is the Lancer version of her, really the only scale figure of her. Uh, she is a 1 7 scale figure manufactured by Fat Company. She was released almost a year ago, November 20, or November 14th of 2018. Uh, like I said, I ordered her on the 24th of October. Uh, and shipped and everything the same as Toka. Uh, for Kiyohime, I did have... A cheaper version of her in my cart at Amiami, but I wanted to think about it a little bit, so I went to lunch, and when I came back, that one had sold. So I had to get this one. She cost me 14,030 yen, or $134.39. And what are you gonna do? But so, anyways, there is the front of the box. You got a nice picture of Ki or view of Kiyohime. There is the side of the box. Nice full body shot. 
There is the back of the box again, full body shot and a window into her backside. And the other side with a kind of focused on her chest shot. <laughs> there is the top of the box and there is the bottom of the box. So this is my October 2019 Mutal. Woohoo! Got some very nice looking figures, I think. Can't really wait to open them. Woohoo! So yeah, uh, as I said, October 2019 Loot Haul. Not, but not giant, but again, fairly expensive. So I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, stick around. We're going to be opening, yeah, opening these. Bye-bye. That was a quick one.